Mass hate raids are happening on Twitch again like it does every year. Let's get straight to the point. I'm gonna teach you guys how to deal with these motherless morons going around and trying to make your day absolute garbage. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly what a hate raid is, how to deal with them, and how to protect yourself and your community from them at the click of a button. How's it going guys? Hope you all having a fantastic day. My name is DCNCry. Guys, this is not the kind of video I usually do, so I do apologize if I seem a little bit more serious this video. This is not a happy, chappy Synchro video. Oh. Every single year, hate raids happen on Twitch, and everyone seems to lose their mind every time this kind of stuff happens. This kind of stuff is nothing new, but if you've never seen it yourself, heard about it, or even had it happen to you, I don't blame you for not being too familiar with it. If you happen to be a person who doesn't really know what a hate raid is, let me explain it for you. Hate raids are when a bunch of people, or one person controlling multiple accounts remotely come into your chat and start spammy obscenities like racial slurs and all that nasty crap to try and make you feel uncomfortable and get a reaction out of you. That's literally what all these losers are there for. They're trying to get a reaction out of you. They want to make you upset. They want to make you angry. They want to make you uncomfortable. They want to see you end your stream. You give them the attention that they want. They'll keep doing it and they'll keep coming back for more. This is why this saying, don't feed the trolls, is very popular in the internet. These kind of things aren't exclusively to Twitch though, this happens in every single platform. Twitch, YouTube, Facebook gaming, you name it. It's just unfortunate that Twitch is one of the platforms that often gets hit really hard with it because it's predominantly live streams. Okay, but what can be done about it. Unfortunately, it's one of those things that not much can be done about it. There's not much that these platforms can really do. The most that can really be done about it by these platforms is the accounts involved of it getting banned, and that's about it, really. And that's not stopping them from making new accounts and continuing all this bullcrap. Twitch made a statement on their Twitter talking about taking legal action with some of the people involved, but I don't think that's gonna go anywhere considering the anonymity that people have on the internet. Okay, but what else can Twitch do? What if Twitch removes the ability to stop you from being able to control bot accounts or multiple accounts. Well, if Twitch removes something like that, then we can all kiss goodbye to things like Fossa bot and Night bot, Stream Elements, Stream Labs bot. If they remove that API, all of those bots are dead. But what if Twitch starts issuing IP bans to the accounts? Well, that could end up delaying them a little bit, but IP bans have become easier and easier to get around nowadays, especially with VPNs being a very popular thing in the world. It's just not that difficult to circumvent an IP ban anymore. So let's think of it like this. Instead of waiting and relying on the platform to protect us, why don't we fight this off ourselves? We have all the tools that we need, we just need to learn how to use them efficiently. The first big piece of advice that I can give everyone here is to familiarize yourself with your moderation settings. If you need any help with that, Boom. Boom. I've already made a video for you guys going through every single moderation setting on Twitch. Whether you want to make your chat rules more loose or strict is really up to you. If you want, go watch the video so you know exactly what each option does. Twitch has added a required email and phone verification feature that you can turn on, but just like how you're getting smarter watching this video, these morons are getting smarter as well, and a lot of them already have email verified accounts. Not too sure about phones though. And another thing that I highly recommend you guys do, and probably the most important thing of them all, is get reliable mods. I can almost guarantee you guys right now that there's probably some mods that are on your channel right now that are just there for show and don't really have any intentions of helping you whatsoever. If you think one of your mods may be one of those people, just dub them down to VIP. That's what VIP is for. Listen, even if you have to make someone a mod temporarily, it's recommended that you do it. If they're reliable, willing to help, and most importantly, you trust them, and if they have a little bit of modding experience as well, that would be great help. Then sit them down, talk to them, and if they're wanting to help you, then get them aboard. Okay, but I don't know a lot of people, and I don't have a lot of people that watch my streams. What do I do? Well, if you're struggling to find good mods, these three are your new best friends. Fossabot, Obot, Seribot. I'm not going to go into too much detail on each of these, but all of these three bots have amazing features. Things like configurable filters, keyword detector, spam protection, commands that would literally ban accounts when specific words get said without any hesitation whatsoever. Someone calling you the N-word or the other F-word? Well, that's an automatic ban. Take a look at some of these bots, do your own research, see if you're comfortable with it, and if you are, add them to your stream. There is no shame in having multiple bots help you manage your stream. Now, this part is an important one and it's something that I recommend all of you guys not do. If you are hit with a hate raid, do not give them attention. 
Don't react to it, don't end your stream, don't get upset or angry. Listen, I know it's difficult. I know when the problem is right there in front of you, it's really difficult not to give it attention and do the things that I told you not to do. But you have to push through and not do so because the moment that they give you attention, they're gonna hit hard and they're gonna keep coming back for more because you gave them what they wanted. Also, no matter what another streamer tells you and no matter what Twitch tells you, do not put on follower only mode. If you put yourself in follower only mode during a hate raid like this, you are setting yourself up to either get follow botted or have a bunch of unwanted followers on your channel that then will be notified when you go live next. They're just gonna be waiting. Follower only will not protect you. It may delay them for a bit, but it's not going to protect you. If you're going to set a restriction to your chat, I highly recommend sub only mode. Sub only should do the trick if you're an affiliate or a partner. I understand that non-affiliates can't use sub only, but I would still highly recommend not using follower only. Try setting your chat to a mode only or a slow mode. Turn those on and then calmly explain to your audience what's going on, ask them to be patient and keep going with your stream. Twitch also has a clear chat feature which will clean up your chat, so if things are getting a little bit spammy, hit that button. So if you have an Elgato Stream Deck, this next part will be quite useful for you. We're going to set up our Elgato Stream Deck to have an emergency button that you can turn on and off a bunch of features that will keep you protected from stuff like this. Let's get this started and sorted so then if you unfortunately do come across a hate raid, you'll be able to sort it out really quick. So first things first on your Stream Deck, come over to the Stream Deck tab and get yourself a multi-action switch. Then scroll down and look for your Twitch tab. And the first thing that we're going to add is a clear chat, followed by a chat message. Add a chat message and then write something along the lines of, stay calm, we are currently dealing with a hate raid, sub only mode has been enabled, we'll return things to normal shortly. In the meantime, enjoy the stream. Then add a sub chat. Make sure that it says activate. If you're non affiliate, you can turn on slow chat and emote chat. If you want to add a marker so then you can keep track of what it happens, add a create stream marker. It might help you keep track for reporting the accounts or just avoiding the event when you're looking for your VOD. Another thing I would advise doing as well is adding a few source switches to turn off your notifications. So things like your channel alerts, follow alerts, and stuff like that. That way, if they do go as far as to follow bot you, you can turn off the follower notifications and you won't get spammed with it. If you want to be cheeky, you could also make it so it plays an ad when it happens, but it's up to you. But I mean, if you have a bunch of losers in your chat trying to make you feel miserable, you might as well profit off them, right? <laughs> Next, go ahead and click the little two up here. And now do the opposite of what you just added. So if you had sub only chat, just change that to deactivate. Same goes for remote only or slow chat if you did have those enabled. Then make a few sources to turn your notifications back on. And that's it. Now you have an emergency button on your stream deck. So then if you unfortunately bump into a hate raid, you'll be able to quickly turn on your protections at the click of a button. But that's it. That's all I really have to say at the moment on the topic. I could go for a bit longer and talk more about this topic, but I don't want to drag on with details that won't really be too much help. Send this to a friend who's afraid of hate raids or has been affected by one. That way they can at least be prepared in a worst case scenario. It's just oh. not worth ending your stream and ruining your enjoyment just because of these assholes and please don't stop making your amazing content and don't oh. stop enjoying yourself and streaming just because you're afraid of potentially being hit by one of these these idiots take pleasure in the fear mongering that they're doing if you do so they're going to take it as a sign as to what they're doing is working and they're going to continue doing it stay safe out there and try your best not to let this stuff get to you this is not the kind of video i'm used to doing but seeing stuff like this really really irks me Nobody should ever have to go through something like this, but unfortunately, it's the sad part about being a creator. Sometimes you'll have to. This is the internet, so like it or not, things like this will happen, but at least you're a little bit more prepared now in case it does. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and I will see you all in the next video. Catch you later.